this color on my hair. Look at how bouncy this hair is. If you want to know what the tips and tricks that I use on this hair, stay Grab a cup if you're not saucy. Heck and shy, baby, don't bore me. Switch your vibe if you're not naughty. Bring your friend, that's enough for me. Go down, go down, go down, down. What's up? Welcome back to my channel and thanks for tuning in. If this is your first time stopping back, I am live with LaBelle and on this channel we do a whole lot of different different things and we are into the beauty industry so you're gonna see me here most often with my beautiful hair and a lot of colors because I love colors. I'm into colors and I'm about to show you different tips and tricks on how to get this beautiful color. So this is Sis 13 5x5 Closure Wig and I can't wait to get into this color. I'm going to place this wig on my mannequin hair, saturate with it, and then go in with my color. First, I'm going to use the adult black because I want the root glow black. So I'm going to go in with the black session by session and I'm going to try my best not to touch the root. But anyways, it's a watercolor so like it doesn't matter if I touch the root or not whenever I get the water. It's gonna come off so that's not a big deal to worry about when you're using a watercolor on a wig so i'm separating the hair into three sessions and uh i don't so much care about the back because i'm not looking for dark root at the back so i'm just going to start from the front and after then if i have any color left i'm going to use it at the top of the back but i don't care so much about the back so I'm going in right now session by session, getting it like about an inch with the root block. So after I'm done, I'm going to go back in with my comb and comb it out because I don't want some part white and some part dark. So I'm going to go back in with my comb and splitting it into part. If I see there is a white spout, I'm going to take my cutter and cut it dark because I'm not looking for a mixed cutter hair. I'm just wanting a dark, pure dark root. So I'm going to go back in. Don't be afraid if the cutter touch the root or the lace. It's going to come off. Trust me, baby, gonna come off this a water cutter. So that's why I use a water cutter because I don't want to go into a problem with the lace. So I'm using it with a water cutter. Yes, so I just want to let you know that I have not yet bleached my lace. So that gives me a courage not to be afraid of touching the lace because when I'm ready, it's gonna come out so easily whenever I bleach the lace. So I'm gonna go in with my cutters, do whatever I want to do, and then bleach my lace. So this is the finished look of the root and this is what I was looking for, exactly what I was looking for. I'm gonna go in straight into my water cutter. So I'm using at the 114 and I want the water temperature very hot. So that's how I'm feeling it. If it is not burning me, I'm not gonna stop. So uh, I'm just using this amount of water because you don't need a whole lot of water. If you use a whole lot of water, the light, the color going to turn. So I'm just gonna turn it and then put in my hair. But I did not rinse out the black cut up on the hair because i don't want my hair wet and i want the black to drip down into the color so that's why i did not rinse it out so i'm just going back and forth back and forth to the color saturate in all of the hair i'm sorry i didn't use a glove unfortunately for me when i went to take my glove i was out of glove i like okay i'm gonna use this since it's a water color it's gonna come up so easily so i'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes and then come back and take it out and tape it in for the second time 
oh look how clean this water is it's so clean like all of the color left the water <laughs> so i'm going in with my second color and 116 to get a dip for the second time and, here, and this is how it came out i'm just going to pluck it like give you a natural look and then use my mousse that i use i always use this order of mousse it's the best it don't make the hair hard like i said in my previous video i'm just going in with my mousse mousse it down and place it underneath the dryer for a few minutes and then get it out for time guys this is my beautiful hair and oh my gosh this color is fabulous like you can you see over here like you see over here it kind of give the pink purple and i use at door 14 and 16 and mix it out so it kind of gave me this pretty color and girl i love it it's my favorite i didn't know how i came across this color i was actually trying to get this color though i was trying to get a purple color and then when i mix it out it gave me this color so i love it so much and i'm super excited with my color it's everything so mm. all right this brings me at the end of today's video and i hope you did enjoy this video and if you do let me know in the comment section below what you enjoy and please don't forget to subscribe if you're not yet subscribed thanks i will see you in my next video bye